you focus on the breath, try to let everything else be put aside. Anything that comes in to disturb the mind, just let it go passing right through. You don't have to get involved. Think of your awareness as a big screen. The, the breeze goes through the screen and doesn't get caught by the screen. In the same way with your mind. Sounds can come through, thoughts can come through. You know they're there, but you don't get involved, because you've got work to do. The work is training the mind. And you have to realize that as with any job, you really want to give this as much attention as you can. Because the more attention you pay to this, the more you see things coming up. And as John Lee used to say, the, some of the first things that come up are things you're not going to like to see. So when, you def when you start practicing, that's when you really start seeing your defilements. And it's not a pleasant sight, but you have to learn how to let them go through just like the breeze. Not get worked up about them, they're there, but you've got your job right here, which is to develop a part of the mind that you can learn how to trust. And the fact that they're untrustworthy things in there, well, it's, it's good to know, because if you didn't know that, you'd go around believing them all the time. At least now you recognize that they're not to be trusted. And so you just let them go, let them go. You've got your work to do right here. It's like having to read a book and a crazy person tries to come along and engages you in a conversation. And if you pay attention to the crazy person, you've lost the train of thought with a book and the crazy person just pulls you in, pulls you in. So you just have to pretend like the crazy person isn't there. You know the crazy person isn't, isn't there, is there, but you act as if he's not. And he's going to say all kinds of outrageous things to try to get your attention, but you just have to stay firm in, in your original intention, which is not to get involved, not to get involved. You stay right here. Even if it means just holding on to one little spot of the breath, you hold on to that. And after a while you find it easier to just let these things go, realizing that we all have these unskillful thoughts in our mind, so you're not the only person who's dealing with them. And that takes some of the sting out right there. And as for the skillful thoughts, you try to give them whatever strength and whatever attention you can. And you find over time that it does begin to build up, build up, especially as you get a sense of well-being that comes from the breath, a sense of stability that at least one part of the mind is something you can rely on. And as you stick with that, it will begin to grow. <laughs>